Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you one of the new tools we have in our annual catalog. It's the Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. It is Stampin' Up's new die cutting machine that they've come out with. Now we've had it for about the last six or seven months or so, um, but we've been able to play with it and kind of get a feel for it. And I wanted to just show you all of the great things about this machine. So I want to start by showing you where it is in our catalog. It's here on page 170. You can see here. So when you get it, it comes with the machine just like this. And the one of the coolest things about this machine is how compact it is when you go to store it. it. The sides fold up just like this and then they fold down when you're ready to use them. So cool. So then you can store it, easy storage, and then pull them back down when you're ready to use it. So awesome. So you obviously get the machine and then it also comes with the base plate that you use to put your dies and your embossing folders on. And it will come with the die plate. This is the just the little extra plate that you need to put in for your dies, to cut your dies. And then it comes with two cutting plates. So these are what you're gonna put your die in between in your sandwich. And then a specialty plate. Now this specialty plate, it has a number four on it. It is for the 3D embossing folders. So if you want to use any of those awesome 3D embossing folders, this is what that's for. Okay, so when you are using the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, if you are running through a die, one of Stampin' Up's dies, you're gonna use one, which is the base plate, and two, which is the die cutting plate, okay? And then you're gonna use two of our cutting plates. You get these with the machine as part of your purchase. So you'll stick your die right in between here. Okay, so let me show you a little bit how this machine works. So I'm gonna grab a die set here. This is the ornate, ornate layers dies. Let me show you how awesome this machine cut some of these really intricate dies. Okay, so let me grab some cardstock. So I have my base plate and my die plate, and then two of my cutting plates. I'm gonna lay one down, and then my paper and my die. And then my next plate, I'm gonna lie right on top of that. Okay, so that's my sandwich. And then, let's bring this in so you can see a little better. I'm going to just push this through and turn the handle. Take it all the way through and then I'm just going to bring it right back to me. Just like that. Okay. And we'll take this off. And you can see that really intricate die there and all those pieces just falling right out. So it's nice to use one of our die brushes and get all those teeny little pieces out from that intricate die, but it cuts it so nicely. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is how to run embossing folders through on our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Okay, so for this, we don't need this um, plate that's labeled two. This is our die cutting plate. So we're gonna just use our base plate here and we're going to use two of our cutting plates. So the two cutting plates that come. There's two different kind of embossing folders that Stampin' Up! carries. There's 3D embossing folders that are a little bit thicker and there's just regular ones that are a little thinner. So for our thinner ones, um, just the regular ones, you're going to use just the base plate and two of our cutting plates to run through. Now for this one, I'm choosing to use one of our thinner ones. So let me grab a piece for that and we're just going to sandwich it right here in our embossing folder there, just like that. And then I'm gonna put it right in between those two cutting plates, just like that, and run it through. OK, 
Okay. And you have a really cool design put on your paper. So fun. The other kind of embossing folders that we carry are called 3D embossing folders. For these ones, you need a, the specialty plate, and that also comes in the bundle when you order it. Um, it's labeled number four. So you will grab your, your paper and your embossing folder, put it in the middle, and then you're only going to use your base plate and this specialty plate. So that's gonna go right on top, and that's gonna go through. like that. Okay. And you can see how cool that is embossed like that. Especially with one of these 3D ones. Oh, it just gives such a really cool look. Love it. Okay, next I wanted to show you one other thing. This big stamp and cut and emboss machine is fantastic. And it is so great to have as a tool in your office. I think Honestly, everybody needs one, <laughs> but sometimes we travel or we maybe have a little less space and having a big machine isn't quite the best thing for us. So Stampin' Up! also has come out with the mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It is so adorable. So it's just like the big one, it's just compact. So it still folds up, and then when you're ready to use it, you fold the sides down, just like that. And it comes with the plates that you need to um, run dies and embossing folders through. Now I wanted to show you the embossing folder, the regular one that I used um, on the big machine, these ones will fit right in here. These bigger ones won't. Um, it, it, only certain dies and folders will fit through this, this little machine, but it's still so much fun. So it has all the same features and the same plates. You'll have your die cutting plate. You'll have your um, embossing folder plate and your specialty embossing folder plate, as well as your cutting plates, just like on the big machine. So, so much fun, so cute and compact. And I, I mean, why not get both? <laughs> but if you only have a limited space, this little one is a great option too. So I hope you were able to learn something about the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines that Stampin' Up! is offering in their new annual catalog this year. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to comment below. And make sure if you want to place an order, visit us at stampinjill.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.